I have never before the Danny Brand thing or after the Danny Brand thing been in a situation where a fucking girl got me that mad. She could push buttons that no one had ever seen before with with getting getting me fucking livid pissed. And it it was so you're sounding like you did hit her. In this no, no, I bit her hand. I bit her on the hand. She smacked me in the face. I grabbed her hand and went, Ugh! "You fucking bit it!" And I fucking, yeah. And that was it. And it turned into I choked her. Hey, where's broke, my dinner, bitch? I broke her ribs. It was like all this bullshit that never fucking happened. She smacked me in the face. I fucking bit her hand. That was it. And and by the way, that should just be left as whatever. Yeah, the cops should show up. Nobody's go, really? business. Did that yeah. happen? Okay, knock it the fuck off. You know what, Anthony? Leave her, or or you leave the fucking house. Yeah, whatever the fuck. But but of course nowadays, oh, you got to fucking go through the system. Get the fuck out of here. And I said, ask any girl I've ever gone out with from the time I first fucking came. And you'll never hear one of them say I ever laid a hand on them well, or bit them. I in was getting insulted way. during that whole time because people would were like, Anthony beats his girlfriend. And, and I go, oh, do you think I would hang out with a guy who was like, where the fuck's my dinner, bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then we, what do we do when you're doing that? We all just sort of go. Just sit uncomfortably. <laughs> yeah. She should have had it ready. What was she thinking? Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh wow, he really does oh. hit. And then she's got the big, the big '70s sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. I'm such a klutz. I, the cabinet. I was opening the cabinet, <laughs> and Anthony didn't like how I opened it, so he punched me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Which Bill Clinton had to do. Oh yeah. Bill Clinton yeah. would wear sunglasses and go. Yep. I'm such a klutz. I was playing my saxophone and I bonked myself. Yeah, in the eye. yeah, yeah. Hillary was a fucking abusive wife. I tweeted once. I go for. Whatever it's worth, I don't think I said that part, but I go, every guy I know that's been involved in a domestic abuse case was the result of some cunt trying to destroy his life. Yeah. And yeah. My, my wife was getting all these texts from her friends, you know, like back when I was on Twitter, sending her that a yep. photo of that tweet. And I'm like, I don't see the problem here. Yeah. I didn't say domestic abuse is bullshit. I said within the like five, like Joe Cumia. Yeah. Who fucking she? She was hitting herself with frying pans. Frying pan. So like I'm just talking about my. I'm naming five guys I know. Yep. And that's my personal experience. Yeah. Maybe that's a total freak experience. Right. And 99 percent is just like, where the fuck's my lunch? Bow. Yeah, yeah. I I'm sure somewhere out there there's those guys. Yeah, they're Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the crowded courtrooms. Hence the Hispanic courtroom in in fucking Spanish. Yeah. She was uh, one day at the apartment. Uh, Danny was, she was pissed at something. Always, she held my my backpack with all my shit in it out the window, and I was. Wait, wait what's the window? Where are you? In my apartment in the city. It was oh, I see. 50, uh, Fifty. How many floors, floors is that up? It was up about nine floors, <laughs> and it, but it was the sidewalk. Like it would have been gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all my shit. Computer was in there. Um, all kinds of stuff. Like valuable shit in my backpack. And she's holding it out the window and laughing. And I'm at a distance where I'm like, do I go for it? No. Or she'll just. So I'm literally having like a hostage negotiator. <laughs> All right, look, I need what's in that backpack. It's very important to me. <laughs> and all I'm thinking is, Fucking! If if it goes, she's you going. If it meant my backpack would land in the apartment. Right, right. It was out the window. But that's the shit she did that no one I've known in my life ever fucking did. It was mental. Right. These guys saw it at the house too. When when I was oh, doing there the was some little kid, the house, some child who was like eight, who I don't know spilled something at your house. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, or she did, and then she blamed it on the she child. Blamed it on the kid. And it, it was like Keith's kid. cousin or something like that. Yeah, it was. Just and then one day, Beavis Beavis gets out. My cat runs outside. She grabs him, and goes ha, and heaved him in the pool. Just threw him in the pool. I'm like you fucking. And all this built up to one bite. I should have <laughs> clocked her in the face. I should have choked her. I should have. I just don't, I'm not that guy. I don't have that in me. But I should have choked the shit out of her.
I'm not saying that it should have. Uh, you should have killed him, but, but I understand. understand. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I've heard it so many fucking oh. times. I hit my wife once. You did. She was. I was asleep. Oh no. And we were going through some rocky times with our neighbors terrorizing us, and she was drunk because she saw me. She saw me deal with all this terrorism. Yeah. And just like have four whiskeys and be like, I'm good. <laughs> what are they gonna yeah. do? Now a squaw can't do that. Mm-hmm. But she sees it and she goes, he was stressed out. Our neighbors want to kill us. They're vandalizing our home and our car and are t- ostracizing our children. He had four whiskeys and now he loves it. Oh. I'm going to try that. So she would try that. Oh, no. She's like, Firewall. Ah, it's Toad Solarski's. I know of the basis of Jesus Lizard. And, and I'm like, uh-oh, we got a, a train out of control. There's a history of engines yeah. and alcohol that ain't very good. Dude, if she had any land, I would have it all, <laughs> like, on the first yeah. date. On the first date. Here you go, another. <laughs> so I'm in my my drunky chair downstairs that I can pee because it's leather. And uh, I wake up, and she's hysterical, threatening to call her mother and the police. Oh, and I'm like, why? Why? What happened? And she goes, because you punched me. She had tried. She was trying to wake me up, and she went, Whack! And instinctively, I just went. Pff. Of course, like I didn't do it. What else are you gonna I was do? Asleep. You're asleep. But it was like my body trying to protect itself from being killed. It is a defense, by the way, the sleep defense. It, 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 a lot of people don't buy it if you say you were asleep walking or something. But something like that. Yeah, uh, but what's my evidence? Yeah, like, I know that's just it. That would be tough. Yeah, very tough. I just heard about a marine who got uh, charged for uh, threatening to kill a woman who was on her, his property. And she was on his property, and she wouldn't leave. And he has no evidence that he was not threatening to kill her. He just said, get the fuck off my property. Yeah, so, but... But he got charged. So he's a bit fucked in the head from being in Afghanistan for 12 years. So he burnt his uniform online. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> he's like, fuck it's you, America, good. just because I got PTSD. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cause if, I see if there's no around. evidence like these judges, this is what I've just learned in the past five years or less. The judges are not justice. They are fucking SJWs. Yes. Like Roger Stone's judge. I was there at the trial. She looked like the jury. These cunty frappuccino fucking 39 year old woman with like bobs. They all watch the same shows. Tucker Carlson, they masturbate to him, but they also want to kill him. Yeah, yeah. They're they're fucking so turned on by him. Oh, they love him. They oh. love him. And they want to take him down, and when they can't, they're like, he's so strong. Oh, they watch Fifty Shades oh. of Grey, and it's Tucker Carlson. And- <laughs> <laughs> no shit. And they would happily, happily send Roger to the electric chair. Yeah. No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trump, oh my God, Trump. Electric They'd chair. Watch the blood come out of his mouth. And you'd, as he was dying, he you'd go, the what's the crime? Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, Russia. Russian like, no, collusion. Specifically. Insurrection. What is the, crime? the thing, what they said. Oh, the you're thing going to jail, Trump. You're going to jail. A pussy and he, yeah. he wants to grab children's pussies. <laughs> He wants to finger babies. They would. They would love to see him put to death. Dude, I'm scared and of women. I think it would be like a, a justice. Like, they think it would be. No, he, he deserved that. Well, they always go, we've had enough of the patriarchy. We have enough of men ruling the world. Let's try women. Patriarchy. We did try women. It was called paganism. They threw babies into volcanoes. They threw virgins into volcanoes. They're fucking mean. <laughs> Women are fucking. They're mean. They're vindictive too. Oh my god. They're petty. Uh, there, there's no compromise in a female woman. birds will kill, like kill the eggs of the other nests. Yeah. So they'll be more appealing to the male because those bitches have nothing but dead abortions. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, that's no way to court a man, lady. They love when you see Camilla Harris, who's supposedly oh. now. I mean, she's she's second. In command right there, ready to go. She'll be and, president. And she, oh, yeah, I, I believe so. And she's just like, oh, well, no, that isn't what, <laughs> the border. Well, we I've been to the border. No, no, you, you haven't been to the border. No. We've been to the border. We, what, what do you mean, we? we <laughs> what is this? You're fucking, it's not, you're not at a bar where five guys are around you trying to fuck you. Because we'll listen to that. We'll listen to your horse shit yeah. when we're trying to fuck you. But, but when you're trying to fuck us like that, different story. 
There's no relation, too, with her fans and her and Democrats and her. Like, when, when there's a top 50 comedians, right? Right. And it's, like, Louis C.K., a fucking unfunny people like Mark Maron or whatever. Mm-hmm. You talk to somebody who voted for Mark Maron, they know Mark Maron's WTF podcast. They can talk about it. They're familiar with him. Yes. And they can tell you probably 100 anecdotes about him. I don't like their list. But at least they know the it stars they know the, on the right, list. Yeah, right. the, the people like those guys. Nobody in America mm-hmm. on the left knows Kamala Harris. They don't no. know what, any of her policies. They never heard of her before. Nope. And with Joe Biden, they saw him as Obama's bumbling sidekick. Yeah. And they never gave a shit about him. They never thought about him. And now these two totally irrelevant people that you've never tuned into ever. <laughs> Are your leaders, and they're like good, and they won by more votes in, than history in, in history. In history, and they're thrilled. Like Amy Siskin is this cunt who came by my house, so I went to hers, and uh, she's like the Pied Piper of the liberals in Westchester. She's got a lot of followers, like two hundred thousand. Why the fuck did she come over your house? Because uh, of the synagogue shooting, she wanted to have a vigil in front of my home. Because you, you shot the people. Well, I thought it was minute, awesome, I... apparently, and <laughs> yeah, what... that was a thing. Jesus, they had to pick someone. It's like, you just don't want to drive far. <laughs> like, obviously, you could have picked somebody more, you know, fitting to a synagogue. Well, I don't think you could find a person literally in America. I mean, you might find some crazy redneck in the mountains who's like, good, I'm glad they shot it up. Yeah, yeah. Dudes. But as far as like a normal human being, you're not going to find anyone who is pro synagogue shooting. No, no. No, you're really not. Uh, not a guy, especially with a family and that, that has a, a job and. Uh, yeah, you'll like, find I'm a mental is, I'm an avowed there. Islamophobe. I don't think it's a good thing. I'm not a fan of Islam. I honestly right. believe that after their population becomes 10%. Of the local population, trouble ensues. Yes. Indians, uh, Urdus, uh, fucking Polynesians, every other group is able to assimilate. For some reason, that group cannot assimilate. Yeah. But when there was that shooting in fucking Christchurch, yeah, well, you I was like, like Jesus, awesome. that's fucking horrible. Yeah. A it's mosque a was shot thing. up. I wasn't like, let's have a fucking party, boys. Yeah. We lost some towel heads. Yeah. Who does that? They think really that yeah, that's what you do, and do what I do what what like so many. Oh, dude, they think fifty percent of the population. Fifty percent of the population. It's like yeah, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> and it's like Fuck what? you, bitch. I don't know where this mindset comes from. I think it comes from social media, from Facebook, Twitter, mm-hmm. creating these bubbles where it's us and them. And the them become so separate now yeah. that they're fucking monsters who are pro mosque shooting, pro synagogue shooting, and you're a saint who just wants to help people and believes right. kindness is everything. Yeah, science is good. Like that. Have you seen that sign? Science. It's is like good. I believe no human is illegal. Oh yeah, I've seen that one. Yeah, science. Is, it's it's like like seven of them. Yeah, no human kindness is, is illegal. everything. It's at the end, which That's is like a- meh. As a human, no human is illegal, but coming across a border <laughs> against, you know, science is real. There it is. Science and it, is real. And of course, it's queer, rainbow, flaggy. Black lives matter. No human is illegal. Love is love. What is that? What a Love is love? Is that? It is what it is. It is what it is, motherfucker. Women's rights are human rights. Yeah, that's a thing already. You don't need women's rights because women are citizens and they're people and they have the rights that everyone else has. Kindness is everything. No, it's really it's not. It's gay. It's really not. I believe science is never settle. Black lives don't give a shit about black lives. <laughs> Illegal aliens are illegal. Gay marriage is bullshit. <laughs> women would be happier at home. And kindness is fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I believe. And by the way, why are you such a pussy yeah. that you're scared of my thoughts? Yeah. What am I, in the X-Men? I'm going to, like, look over you with my thoughts and just, like, <laughs> yeah. make your car blow up? Why do they have to... Why do they feel they have to put things out like that? Like, it's this... It, it's so brainwashing. Like, you want it's those... It's so embarrassingly facile. Like, you put up love is love on your lawn like I never thought of that? Or hate has no home here on your lawn? Like, I'm going to go, oh, I I thought hate did have a home. Yeah, yeah, I thought hate lived there. Oh, shit. It would be ironic of me. 